Welcome to the review by DJSP URC. I want to show you today how to change your A arm on a Stampede 4x4. This is not normal. You should not be able to <laughs> move your wheel. Uh, basically, what we're going to go do and put the RPM version on. The RPM version is working for life with RPM directly, not to your local hobby shop. RPM directly. Let's open this guy here. Yes, it doesn't want to be open. Now, these arms, they do have right and left on them. But on the Stampede and the Slash 4x4, they will fit front and rear are the same arms. Now basically this guy goes on this side here. This is the left. I'll put the right on the side. And let's jump into this. One of the first thing you'll do is remove your wheel. Once you have your wheel in your hand, on the side of the arm here, you'll have a 2.5, if I remember correctly, nut. You'll need to remove that one. Grab a pair of pliers. Sometimes they are gonna be a little bit a pain because they're just threaded halfway and there's no way to be able to put a screwdriver on this side to push them out. You could, you would need to dismantle this, but let's see if we can do it with removing less parts off of the vehicle itself. We're gonna go, here we go. It's slowly coming out. There we go. It's out. Now physically, your arm should come off. Now you have your arms in your hands. Now we do have a two mil to remove right here. That is the shock protector. Put the spacer aside. And we do have a, a bent screw here. Not sure if she's gonna focus, but that's not normal. We're gonna grab our arm. And they all have the same holes. We're going to go in our spare screw set here. And find ourselves another screw. There we go. Grab our bolt. Pop it through, put our spacer back in. And the best way to find out where it goes on this one, it, it went right here. That means this hole right here. And let's screw this guy back in. Uh, yeah, putting this upside down. It goes on the vehicle like this. This is what happens when you're not paying attention here. Yeah, there we go. Now, 
Now looking at the shock bolts here, it tells me it needs to move a little bit on the side here. And we're going to unscrew this guy. It goes right here. Now for a shock that gets aligned. Screw this guy completely in. Make sure this is seated. And it is. There we go. Put this guy aside. Now before coming back and put this guy here, what I want to do is remove a couple of parts off the vehicle. There's two bolts on the top here that holds the bumper. As we'll need to remove the bumper to have access to the hinge pin. Now, once we have these two screws removed, you see this part slowly comes off. Flip it and remove these three bolts right here. These are going to be 2.5s. They should all be the same size, mixing size. It's, yeah. Come on, Traxxas. If you go 2.5, go 2.5 everywhere. And I got <laughs> slippery fingers. Okay, now we have our bumper off. We'll put it aside and our hinge pins right here. Slide the, the hinge pins out and we'll be able to remove the parts of the other A-arm. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna insert the RPM one and put the hinge pin back. And sometimes they'll give you issues. They're not gonna want to go in. What I do, I use one of my screwdrivers to be able to align it. And then it'll go in. But again, sometimes the back, it won't go in. <laughs> Try to keep my shock out of my way here. There we go. I just went in. And grab our car stand beneath, beneath. Keep the vehicle up in the air. Now to have less, not really less issues, I want to screw in my shock. Now, the only thing I'm trying to do here is aligning. There we go. That came out. Was it the reason I want to put it there? Because now I'm able to just take this piece right here and move it to be able to insert the shock. Grab our shock bolt. Again. Oop, have my two mil. Insert it to be able to align it. And screw it in. Oh, 
You could do it the other way around if you wanted to reinsert it on the uh, carrier if you wanted to. Why well, I just prefer to do it this way. Because I'm able to see what I'm doing on the other side here. Sometimes you'll notice they might be hard to start screwing in. You might need to put a little bit of force. We will get to go. And there we go. And she's snug. Now we're going to grab our carrier, pop our carrier on. Remove from the stand, take your carrier pin, insert it, find our 2.5, it's right here, screw this guy back in, there we go, now make sure everything works fine here that works and let's put our bumper back we always start by the opposite try to align your front you insert it all these three screws are the same size And make sure not to drop it in the vehicle. That one's going to be easy to find after. There we go. I shake it a little bit and it comes out. Flip it the other side again. Find our two screws from the beginning and our two mil. Yeah, this suggestion I can say if you're not sure, take pictures. Before you remove a screw, take a picture of it. Uh, even then, you could go to the point, even you remove the screw, take a picture of the screw. And that way you'll know, okay, this, this is the screw goes here that I remove if you need it to remove the vehicle completely in parts. I try to dismantle less possible the vehicle to be able to go do something. Uh, I heard guys basically removing the front end completely off the vehicle. It's not hard, it's not long to do as also, but I say, if you don't need to, why remove it? And grab our seven mil, pop it back in. And screw our tire back. And there we go. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up right there in the corner. And don't forget to hit that uh, bell notification to get notified when I upload a video. Thank you guys.